that'd be sick, bro. Pickle fights. Like, so I think I, I love that energy. I think you're right. Just hotter people, more personalities, more fighting, mic the guys up, mm -hmm. you know, get them, get, get me mic'd up, get, get all these people. There's some crazy stuff that flies yeah. back and forth, right? Even between your partners. So um, sure. um, there's, and there's a lot of characters in this game, man. People think everybody's boring. There's some freaks out there. I mean, some oh, yeah. people that you can't even make up in a storybook, man. Like you just couldn't even write these people down. Okay, you got Greg Dow on the podcast. Um, this is a different Greg Dow than the one that I've really gotten to know. He's got the mic, he's got the headphones. This is the Rob Nunnery, it feels right setup. Um, kind of confused. I, I don't know the last time Greg was on, actually I've had him on twice. We only were able to release maybe one of them because there were so many technical difficulties. Uh, so he's taking it seriously now, clearly. So thank you. Thank you for this, you know, whatever this is. Gracing you with my presence. I'll say. You're welcome. You're welcome. You know, for those who don't know at home, Greg Dow actually graced all of south florida with his presence came down here for four days we got some practice in with you know he came down he practiced with anna lee catherine j dub i think you and you and catherine might have taken out dub and anna lee in a mix i, I don't know that's what it looked like uh, no that did not happen me and anna lee got beat bad by j dub and catherine but uh details are details. that was details are yeah it, but you know what? it was fun man um you know i just I just wanted to see what was in the water in South Florida because you get these guys, you get you, Pickleball Dave, uh, Jericho, Kane, um, Tardy. I mean, all these guys, something's in the water, and I had to find out for myself. And, um, you know, I was, I was blown away. I mean, you guys, you guys do it right there. It's hot. It's humid. Um, everybody plays hard. There's a lot of intensity. Um, and you know, just, just some of these characters, man, uh, I, I mean, you just, you can't make these people up. I, I mean, it's just, it's an absolute, it's a, it, you talk about a TV show. Um, I'd like to talk about the pickle house. I'd like to start there because that's where it all begins. Right. Yeah. And just for a quick background on the pickleball house, um, I started playing pickleball, uh, a little under two years ago, I first picked up a paddle in October in uh, whatever around two years ago. And I brought in my friends from tennis who were some of my closer friends, um, guys like Davis Carvalho, pickleball Dave, as we have now come to know him, Jericho Grohlman, a guy who I got ATP points with in doubles. So Jericho and I played, we got a ton of fi ITF finals. He was a great doubles player. And uh, this guy named Hugo. So we were, you know, I was friends with them since I was 14, 15, started having some success in pickleball and they decided, okay, we're just going to copy James. If James can do it, we can do it. So that's how the pickleball house started. I'll let you take it from there. Well, yeah. I mean, you, so you walk into this house and they call it the pickleball house and you walk into this house. Thank you, Mo. And, they all live together. Um, they all live together. So, right. So it's, it's, it's Jericho, it's Dave, it's Hugo. And then Ryan Fu is now in the house as well. Um, you walk, so I'll just describe, you walk into this house and the first thing, it's a nice house. You think it's going to be like a, a crash pad or whatever with, it's a nice, it's in a nice neighborhood. I mean, these, these guys shouldn't be there. Let's be clear about that. They don't belong in that neighborhood. Like this is a nice house. They shouldn't be there. And you walk in and it's the living room and there's just a, 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 a temporary net across the living room, pickleball net. And there's a mattress on the floor in the living room, just a, just a twin mattress. And that's someone's, that's, that's Jericho's bed. There's four bedrooms. He has a bedroom he can sleep in. Let's also be clear. He, he could be in a bed. Doesn't he want to be in the bed. He wants to sleep as close to that net as possible. Yes. And it's on the right side it's where it's in the kitchen on the right side of the net. Yep. Like where he would be. 
because he's a right side specialist. He lives on so the right. That, I, he literally lives and sleeps on the right. And this is not a joke. He sleeps there. That's where he sleeps. Like a dog bed. Yeah. That's what it is. He's a dog. And so you can't, it's, it's what is fact? What is fiction with these guys? It's like, is that a joke? Yes. But he's actually sleeping there and he actually puts it on the right side. So I don't know if it's, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if these are jokes or not, but they're, it's not a joke. And um, yeah, you, it's just, it's a nice house. I mean, you know, they have, it's, it's a bunch of dudes. So it's, it's not the cleanest house, but um, yeah, I mean, just the, if you put a couple cameras in there, man, like just a couple cameras and just put them in the living room, just some of the conversations, some of the just absolute shenanigans and, and the, the, the wild things that are said and nobody blinks an eye. I mean, you can say the craziest thing and nobody blinks because everybody's insane in a good way. Right. Um, so it, it, it's just, it's unbelievable. That's I mean, I, I was, my mouth was gaping open the whole time. I just, I couldn't believe this place exists. These people exist. Um, and they're great guys. Um, and they're, you know what? They're good players. I mean, we can talk about players. Hugo. I mean, if, if you guys, you guys want to watch Hugo play, uh, you know, check out the APP stream in New Jersey and him just dicing people up. I mean, his, his forehand speed up is unbelievable. Um, you know, the guy is wearing your clothes. Jericho. Like he's, he, Jericho is, so Jericho is wearing Ignatowicz's clothes. He's bouncing like Ignatowicz. He kind of looks like Ignatowicz. Um, and, he know, and, and, and he knows this. And I don't know if he's... Again, I don't know if it's like a joke or it's serious because he's literally playing exactly like you. He's using your paddle. He's dressing like you. He called himself Jimmy at least twice during that turn. I, I watched it happen. I heard he him say He calls himself Jimmy often. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, the guy – and he's good, you know. He's good. He's, he's very good. I'll just um, say a real – I'll say a real good. quick thing on Jericho's performance. Um I, I consider him maybe a top 30 player right now, level wise. He took a guy, Mike Forster, who had, from what I saw, never made it out of the first round, maybe got to the second round at these APPs. And this APP, they played it. They got to the semifinals. Jericho's taking the middle with his backhand because, right, Jericho only plays the right. He will not play a single point on the left. He refuses to. In rec, you've got to unwind with him. He will not stand on that left for longer. He sometimes will just stand upright like Colin does just to avoid even being on the left. Yes. So Jericho, they had some big wins. Jericho taking the middle, speeding up his forehand, being aggressive, being big from the right. Took out Ryler DeHart and Andre Mick in straights. Won their quarterfinal against Pickleball Dave Correct. and Hugo. So they yes. made the quarters. So these guys are coming into these APPs and having success. Made it to the semis, took a game off the Johnson Twins, should have beat the Johnson Twins. Um, ended up winning another one in the back against Will Sobek and whoever Sobek was playing with. And now, you know, he got fourth at the APP in men's dubs. Like, he's no joke. And Pickleball Dave is, is about the same level, too. It's, uh, these guys are coming. They, they live and breathe Pickleball. They play six hours a day. I mean, you saw what they do. And these guys are dialed. They're, they're focused, the you know, that, that Delray, uh, that Delray focus, they're kicked in. So yes. what are your thoughts on, um, I cut you off. I forgot. I'm no, sorry. No, no. I mean, it's exactly, yeah. You, you had a great description of, of, of what he did, man. I mean, it was unbelievable to watch this and nobody's seen anything like it. I mean, he was speeding up every, he sped up every ball, every shot. It didn't matter. He beat every single ball at the kitchen. He was speeding up, um, you know, it, it, it was unbelievable. Yeah, but these guys, these guys train for it, man. I mean, they are just, I've never seen anything like it. We, I remember one day we played, me and you played in the morning and then we played in the afternoon again. So we probably played for four hours and Dave played, we played like started at nine and Dave played from seven to nine, then played with us from nine to 11 and then played with, us again from three to five and then played again from like seven to nine. Yeah. 
And then we were going to drink some beers at the pickle house. Cause you know, it was me and Hugo watching Borat just drinking beers, which was probably the greatest night of my life. Um, <laughs> and we're, we're asked, we're, we're calling Dave. We're like, Dave, let's get some beers, you know? And Dave's in an ice bath. And he's like, guys, <laughs> like he's in an ice bath. And he's like, guys, there's no, he's like, I got to, I played for eight hours today. I'm playing for eight hours tomorrow. Um, and there's no beers. There's no, there's some women, you know, floating in and out, but they follow, but Dave. They follow Dave and Dave, Dave, but he's focused. He, he doesn't care. He's, he's, he's not focused. worried he about care. the women. No, they, they, no, he's, they're he's just focused on the game. They're an extra little treat for him maybe, but <laughs> it's nothing like there's, you know, very little connection, very little. It's just, yeah, it's a treat for Dave because pickleball is the goal and, and nothing will stop him. Nothing. And nothing will stop Hugo or sorry, um, Jericho. And then Hugo's coming too. Hugo's a little behind and he knows that, but he's still solid. Um, so yeah, man, these guys, they bring the intensity. Um, it's every something day. that I, you know, every day, every point. Um, so it's something that I don't really do when I practice as much. So I, I've learned that yeah, you got to bring it. Um, and so, yeah, it's just, it's an amazing group of guys. If you're a film crew, if you're looking at this pickleball world, like where's the story? Where's the, you've got the story. Just go <laughs> down to Del Rey and just literally put some cameras up and you won't believe these. You just won't believe these people. You just no. won't believe who they are, what they do, what they say. Um, it, it's 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 like it's like a movie. I mean, it's it's like these are are characters in a movie, but they're not the real people, and they're in Del Rey. Oh yeah, absolute craziness. And it's funny because we you, you can go ahead. No, I was just gonna say like I realized like that's what it takes though. Anybody yeah, out there like absolutely. wants to be good. You have to be out of your mind. You have to be in, an insane person. And for the record, Davis and Jericho, they've been doing this for almost a year now. Right. Every day. And now they're just breaking onto the scene. They're getting good. And I'm, I'm partially to blame for their insanity because a year ago, I was playing every day for six hours. Right. Every ball. Like I wasn't out there like just, just dinking or whatever. I was playing every single ball intensely. They saw that and they were like, well, this is what we, what we got to do. And then they won up to me. Now, these guys are training harder than I've ever trained at anything. I uh, One little segue on that, too, is it's funny because these guys are all or Jericho and Davis, you know, you think of who do you really watch? Who, who are you a fan of in pickleball? Like, OK, well, there's there's Ben Johns, Riley Newman, J-Dub, you know, these cool left side guys. But that's not who they look up to. They don't look up to me either. It's Colin Johns. It's Colin CJ. Johns. And you think it's a joke. I was telling Colin this. He doesn't believe it. These guys, I mean, last night I've got a text on my phone. So at 2.41 a.m., 2.41 a.m., Davis Carvalho, Pickleball Dave, sends me a highlight of Colin Johns hitting a reset from the midcourt. And says, look at his knee bend. Is it's it looks a little bit lower um or less of a knee bend. Is that because of his Achilles? Or do you think he's like changing the technique of, of his reset? Is he trying to stand up straighter or is it due to his injury? You can't make this stuff up. No. These guys no. are watching Colin on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and that's that's their guy, that's their idol. That's their guy. It's crazy. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So Look out for those guys, man. I, I mean, Pickleball Dave's been coming, and he's arrived, I think. But, you know, Jerry, I didn't even know he was really – I, I knew I'd heard his name from you and Dave, but I didn't know he was what he is. I mean, he's also very good, and, and, and Hugo's coming too. So, um, yeah, these guys are here, um, and it's exciting, man. They deserve it. They work harder than anybody, and um, yeah, it's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. It is. Okay. So Greg, this is an important question because you are officially a professional pickleball player. You're a professional athlete, although you may not meet a lot of the, you know, criteria for one. You may not look like it, but you are. Correct. You know, you may not move like it, 
No. Um, but uh, or have, yeah, any of the talent or abilities that other professional athletes have, but but you've been signed and you're going to make enough money to do this full time now. You're you're on a yep. three year deal. So how does it feel? Do you do you feel better than you know you did a month ago? Yeah, no, definitely, man. I mean, it's uh, it's it's pretty crazy. In 2024, we're going to have you know a lot of people who are you know, going to be able to play pickleball full time. And then a lot of people who are already really good players who are playing full time are going to be making, you know, life changing amounts of money. So, um, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I, I, I hope, you know, they say man, when things sound too good to be true, they usually are. So I, I, I believe it's all going to happen and I'm confident, but, um, so I, I, you know, as long as everything is all, all contracts are, are met and everything like it's going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome. I feel very lucky. Um, you know, I have, I'm, I'm at Rob's house right now. If the audience didn't know, and I'm on the equipment and I feel very lucky. Rob Nunnery. Yeah. Rob Nunnery. He picked me. I sent him a text. Um, for the first, first MLP draft. I sent him a text and I just, I just pitched myself. I said I was as good as Hayden Patrick went at singles. I just don't play a lot. I said I don't play mixed at all. I played one tournament, um, but I'm the same at mixed as I am at men's, which I actually thought – I honestly thought it was pretty close. That was not the reality. Um, and I just had this amazing pitch. It was incredible. Um, and that's why I got picked was because Rob would trust me. And I didn't even know Rob. I didn't know. Um, so I feel very lucky that, that Rob picked me for that. And um, I think that helped me like get going and like, you know, kind of like make a name for myself in the, in the pickleball world a little bit. And you too, like you, you've always supported me and I've always supported you. And oh, you. Um, so I feel very, I, honestly, like Rob and Ignatowicz, like, two guys that, that have, have helped me a lot. So it's, it's, I feel very fortunate and I want to do my best to um, make the most of it and make this league viable. And um, I hope it go, you know, it's going to go for three years and I, and I hope it does. I hope it goes for 10 years and I can play pickleball and make good money for the rest, rest of my life. But um, it's very cool, man. I, I just, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think we need? Cause I, you want this to go forever. I do too. What do we need to do to, to really push this thing and, and, and make it big time, James? You have 9 million people. I tell everybody this. We have 9 million people who are playing pickleball like once a month. That's the, there's a, a, a survey, a study. And those people aren't really watching, right, James? So, so w how do we bridge that gap? How, what do we need to do here? Because it's well, crazy. All these people are playing and no one's watching the, you know, the pro game. I think the first thing we need is a, it's true. We need a constant, yeah. a constant scoring system and constant format. Can't have two different formats, two different scoring systems. Yeah. Um, I was just in a fraternity and I was around a lot of kids that wanted to start playing pickleball and they watched MLP. They said, Oh, this side out scoring or sorry, this rally scoring is easy. Makes sense. Then they see the side out scoring. They get confused. They don't know which one it is. That's a barrier to entry, I suppose. And it's definitely a barrier to watching the game. If you don't know what you're looking at, especially if you're betting on it, right? you, you aren't going to feel comfortable betting on something that you don't understand. Unless you're me. who Because I'm stupid. <laughs> and last yeah. night I lost, I think, $500 to Jericho. I um, heard. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole other story. But people aren't like me. People are smart. And uh, they don't want to do that. So there's got to be a constant. I think we should stick with rally scoring. Let's just stick with it. I think how it is right now is perfect because it is boringly simple. And that's a big deal, right? You get to 21, if you, whatever, you got to win by two. You got to win on your serve. And that's it. There's no more freeze at 18. That was a little too confusing. I'm glad that we got rid of that. Thank you to Steve. All that it is, you can explain it in five seconds. You play to 21. You win by two and you have to win on your serve. Right. That's it. And that is so easy to explain. I can't think of any, any other way to possibly do this side out scoring. Isn't good. So that's the first thing. 
The second thing is maybe some more rivalry, some more social media personalities. I think Jack Sock coming in is a big deal. Um, Jeannie Bouchard coming in is a, good, a big deal because all you need is people that are watching to maybe just watch it one time and then fall in love with watching it. We just right. need to increase the amount of people that watch it that first time. Right. Because I think a lot of these people have just never even looked at it. Um, the ones who have played. So I think that's the, that's the main thing. I like that. Like the hot, like getting a more hot people playing like more, like if we had 11 Ignata witches, right? Like imagine, like, I mean, people like years. really hot. Well, 190, when Greg gets to 195, then, you know, <laughs> things will be looking up, but not right now, but yeah, just the hot, like sock and you and, you know, we, I'd love to talk about Roscoe. He's up and comer. <laughs> this guy is just an absolute dreamboat. I mean, he is just Roscoe Bellamy. People, if you never heard, heard of him, um, you know he, he's I, Jane. I mean, this guy is a movie star. Nicest he's guy, an absolute seen. great guy. Such a nice kid. I've talked to him for an hour, maybe not even like thirty minutes. Never seen him hit a ball. And he's my favorite player. He's the future <laughs> of the sport. And and I, I've never seen him play. But I've talked to him and I I, I, I really liked him. And he is just absolutely breathtaking. Um, he really is. So guys like that coming in, girls like that, I think that's big, man. Big personalities like you, like Tyson, like people like that. Like, you know, Tyson flipping people off and saying F, F U, U P word. Like, I that's like cool, man. That was sick. I know. Me too. I, I, I like wanted them to not. fight. <laughs> and I like Loon. Like nothing against like, it was just cool, man. That was like, that's awesome. Like these are not nerd pickleball dinkers. Like ugh. these are real freaking, these are warriors. These are people. They're angry. They're mad. They're excited. And they want to fight. Right. Tyler, I don't think I Tyler wanted to fight him, but yeah. No, but, but Tyson wants to. And like, that's sick, bro. Like imagine like Tyson and like, some shoving matches like they break them up like an nba game like you know yeah. like draymond green's you know kicking somebody in the balls and, and people start shoving and you know they got, they got like you know jj reddick's trying to break it up like you know like that's how you know like that's that's some diplomat like yeah diplomat. yeah like you're the diplomat and it's like me and trying to fight you know someone else and you're like hey guys break it up like that'd be sick bro pickle fights like Mm -hmm. So I think I, I love that energy. I think you're right. Just hotter people, more personalities, more fighting, mic the guys up, mm -hmm. you know, get them, get, get me mic'd up, get, get all these people. There's some crazy stuff that flies oh, yeah. back and forth, right. Even between your partners. So um, sure. um, there's, and there's a lot of characters in this game, man. People think everybody's boring. There's some freaks out there. I mean, some oh, yeah. people, that you can't even make up in a storybook, man. Like you just couldn't even write these people down. You know, oh, yeah. they couldn't even. Colin John. You couldn't even create these people, and, <laughs> and and nobody knows. Nobody knows because it's all just you know boring dinking and some post match interview. That's you know good job. What it's like, dude. Mike these these literal yeah. mental patients up and see what they have to say. And that's the personalities. That's where yeah. you get it. The personalities, literal insane highlighted. people. Including myself. Like, I'm out of my mind. Totally right? agree. So, so are you. I mean, yeah, you know. And you know what the yes. thing is? Like, that's how the – just for a, a reference point on this, like, that's why the NBA has done so well because the NBA is highlighting personalities. The NFL mm -hmm. is highlighting more, you know, teams, not really going into the personalities of stuff. But the people, the fans, they want to know the person that they're watching. You know, they want to watch – the specifics of, of what's being said, the personalities, they want the arguments, the rivalries, that stuff's fun. That, Cause this is all entertainment. This right. is that, especially pickleball. Like we need to lean on the fact that it can be entertaining or at least as entertaining as pickleball can be. So yes. we need to lean on that. I think. Lean on it, man. Yeah. People don't want to yeah. watch, watch this thinking. They want to see the fights, see the arguments and, um, yeah, I, I I just love what Tyson did there, and I, and and I I love you know, even the, the Alshon incident. Like I just I think we need to see more of that. I agree. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. All right. Well, thank you for coming on, Greg. That's all we got. All right, man. Hey, 
Real quick, look out. I just want your audience to look out for the Dow Pickleball Podcast presented by Ace Pickleball. Oh, Woo! no. It, it's, it's, He's plugging his own pod. Are you still going to come on this well, one? Of course, of course. Okay, and and, and our, we're going to have a great surprise first guest. Something your audience, a person they may be familiar with. Um, and uh, and uh, it, it's coming. We'll see on the dates, but just just look out for that. Obviously, watch the Ignatowicz podcast if you have time. You know switch that. over to Dow's. We don't have a name yet, um, exact name, but just look out for that. Okay, I will. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Greg. Thanks, buddy. Okay. All right.